Yeah, just a shot block party tonight for you guys. Just when you see it's working so well for those guys, where you're able to tie a school record. Well, Mayo and Donnie really took a challenge. Our last two games, the other team's best players had gotten gotten more than their average, to be honest. And, and so we kind of challenged those two guys. They forced it into the help, which for the most part was NJ. And um, uh, he's got a really a great knack for that and, and um, long arms. And we've got a long athletic group out there most of the time. But a lot of that had to do with the effort of Donnie and uh, Mayo forcing those guys into that help, which was part of our, our defensive plan uh, because those two guys can really score. Wilkerson and um, Barnes are really, really good players. And just to come out here and do this, see, you're without Matthew. Just how did you see that? How'd you, what did you like from your guys and the way they were able to pick up for him? And well, I knew we were, would be better defensively, right? It, it's a little bit like, like last year's team. Uh, we can really guard, and that's what we did today. On the other side, you know, we've got to try to do it by committee. I thought when Austin was fresh, he, he really did a good job. Um, I thought Mayo did, did a solid job when he was fresh, and then obviously Donnie and then Tyler in the first half did a good job handling the ball. But, but our offense is not nearly as – as uh, efficient or or crisp because you know uh, Matt's gotten so many reps at that and um, but he's hurt. I mean he, he's tried to play through it and that did not work out very well. And so uh, we'll we'll be without him for some time. So we, we really have to practice and prepare and and be able to execute accordingly opponent from opponent without him in, until we get him back. How long is that? I, I doubt if he plays before league play. I mean I don't know I don't know. I mean, he's not playing in the next game. And if he plays before conference, I would be highly shocked. But, but we'd love to have him back for Northern Iowa. That's a wrist? Yeah, he has a bone bruise on his wrist, amongst other things. But the thing holding him out is a bone bruise, which that takes a long time. How does that uh, affect you offensively and what you'd like to do? You know, I, I think the, the number one stat is going to affect is our assists. But, but like I told our team the last two games, we hadn't assisted the ball well in the first place. And part of it had to do with, with Matt's inability to, to really be effective. Um, but we'll probably have to, you know, run more actions as opposed to just allow our guys to, to play uh, breakdown basketball off of ball screens. And, and, and so we, we're not going to slow up or anything like that. It's just when we get into half court, we, we just have to be more intentional about, you know, running sets. But um, our team uh, has to play fast. And, and when we don't play fast, we don't play well. So we're not going to change that. But um, I thought up until we got tired, maybe the last five minutes tonight, we, we tried to keep up the pace and, and do some things. But we'll just have to we'll just have to call more plays so people know where they're going and, and put people in positions where they can be, um, you know, successful as opposed to just allowing Matt to, to make plays for other people and, and things like that. So that's ultimately where we are. He don't run at the start of the game and seven of to start the second half. That's kind of the cushion that you needed, right there. And, and you know, our our last uh, our last game, we did not start very well, and that's what cost us the game. And 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 um, you know, we we talked to our guys about that uh, these last couple of days, and and not knowing what reason they started slow. Because if you know as a coach, then you'll say something before it happens. But um, good to see our guys bounce back. And uh, it started with our defense. Uh, I want to say we pitched a shutout in the first four minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they made a field goal. Uh, and then the start of the second half, um, the guys just being dialed in, making some plays with their activity. I didn't think we started to have slow at all. And that was a great sign to see. Um, and, and a lot of that has to do, you know, we got NJ and Mayo and Donnie out there in that first group now, along with Chance. Um, and, and that, that group can really make plays. You know, NJ's really high energy and, and, and gets his hands on a lot of balls and um, just being back at home. Right, right now, our, our biggest issue is we're two different teams at home in a way, and, and that's, that's got to change because we don't get to play them all here. Coach, do you feel like because Donnie and Austin um, and Chance, do you feel like because they got some of this experience last year, obviously without Matthew in the lineup, yeah. you feel a little more comfortable with them going out there trying to execute the way you would? I do, I do, and they're all better at it, right? Like Mayo, like tonight, so Austin obviously was the primary, then Mayo, whereas last year we had to go Donnie right after um, 
um, Austin, but now Mayo's developed enough to be able to do it, as well as Tyler. T Tyler can do it some too, and he played a really good first half, and he's going to continue to, to, to get more minutes and play. But um, now this team is is probably one of the, the worst teams to, to deal with this right away because, I mean, they really pressure you. They hard hedge ball screens. They guard you toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But we don't, we don't see that a lot. Um, and so I, I think our guys have gotten better at it, and I think they're going to show even more as we continue to play people that don't get up and extend pressure as much as this group does and they're big strong and athletic you know and they normally guard you guard you. I mean they guard us deep. I mean 42 percent is not bad um, now obviously we we guard really well which I'm so surprised by but hopefully we keep it up why is it surprising because I mean we don't really work on it I mean we just you know we we, we primarily work on, on work on other things and I don't know they can they can just naturally guard I guess Coach, I don't think anyone in the arena was sitting down tonight at halftime mm -hmm. when Art was recognized. They were all on their feet. Yeah. And it was just really a great moment for the university. Just just give us your take on, on Art and the comeback and, and, and being recognized. There. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's something that I've you know I've touched on before, but um, man, I I don't know how anyone can be associated with the university in any kind of way and not know art. And if you know art, you love art, right? And so um, you know, he's been here for so long and, and does such a good job. And um, he, he's just, um, you know, if you had a Mount Rushmore, right, of Missouri State, I mean, golly, he'd have to be on there. And, and, and so, um, you know, life is precious, man, and, and glad that he has made it through uh, as far as he has up until today. And, and um, you know, it was different without him. And I think we're fortunate to have him back and, and um, definitely glad to see our league recognize him, our university, because, um, you know, he's, he's, he's really earned it, you know. And um, whether he went through that, um, that deal or not, you know, he, he, he's earned it for more than just making it through that. And so um, glad, glad to see uh, people, people give him his recognition. Just yep. as far as winning a road teams, is it mindset or what, what is the key to break through? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Tough teams went on the road. We're, we're not a tough team right now. You know, we, we're just not a tough team right now. Um, what, what we've talked about with our guys is, is what, what are we capable of? We're capable of becoming tough, but we're not tough right now. And, and it's, it's hard to win on the road when you're not tough. And um, um, that's, 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 what, that's how you win on the road, you know. And, and right now, we, we don't have that, you know, from, from something as simple as running hard. Right, but it takes toughness to really run hard, and 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 right now when we go on the road, we we're not even running hard, and so that, that's that's one box we've got to get checked. Uh, another box is, is execution, right? Making our layups on the road, um, um, guarding the other team's best player. Not one road game have we stopped the the other team's best player like like we like we do at home, and and that's really caused us to not perform well on the road, which. Which, in the last couple of years, we we've been really good on the road, but but we're a different team, and and so um, hopefully now with Matt, Matt out, we have the capabilities of becoming tougher, and and, and hopefully that'll lead to some road wins. Is there worry there with that he might not be back at the beginning of Valley players? No, I mean yeah. Matt could play today, yeah. but he can't use his right hand. So we're sitting him out until he can use his right hand. If if that was a valley game that he would have played, yeah. I mean, it's it's a bone bruise. I mean, it's he, he it, now if he keeps playing on a bad bone bruise, it can get worse. But um, you know, he played the last two games. We, we, he wasn't very good, and we weren't very good. And and but so we need to rest it until league play um, because we we have enough. You know, we just got to guard. We got to guard to win. Coach, I know you guys may not be quote tough enough yet, but you are resilient. Big lead shrinks down the way they played defense, you mentioned, yeah. could have collapsed, but you didn't. So what does it say about this team's resiliency to play through that, keep their lead, even without obviously Matthew coming in? Well, the first thing it says is that when we when we, we need to sub a little earlier, you know, those guys build that lead. When we did sub tonight, we lost the lead, but but we, we need to keep our guys uh, a little bit more fresh. And, and strategically maybe not, not have certain guys off the floor at the same time. Like tonight we had Mayo and Donnie off the floor, I think, and NJ when they made their run back. And, you know, it's like when you lose a guy like Matt who's played so many minutes, you're still figuring out how to make this rotation. It's a new rotation. Like Dawson played tonight. Donnie played his natural position. We did no small ball. 
So we got to try to get that figured out. And, and once we figure that out, you know, a 17-point lead in league play is probably going to get cut to 12, right, or 10. I mean, you know, it, it, teams aren't going to just let you just, just beat them, at least not in our league. Uh, but you don't want it to get down to six like tonight, you know, two-possession game. But nevertheless, um, when Austin's out there and, and Mayo and uh, Donnie, I, you know, I, I feel pretty pretty secure, you know, that, that we're going to be able to hang on. And, and we're just searching for one more point. All right.